All right, it is May 3rd, 2022. Um, we are in North Dakota right now, and the paddlefish season just opened up on the 1st. We are gonna go over how to tie a paddlefish rig for anybody who doesn't know how to. Um, I'm gonna go over the way that I like to do it. It's the simplest way I've found to do it. You're gonna start off with some kind of heavy poundage line. Uh, I just went with the 80, because it was either that or 100, and I wanted to get more line out of it. I prefer braid, less memory to it, so whenever you're tying your knots, it's not trying to unravel itself as you're doing it. I got a 8 aught treble hook and some 5 ounce leads. It's going to differ depending on which river you're fishing um, with the current and everything. So just ask somebody who's fished here before. If, but if, not, if you don't know, 5 ounces is plenty. Um, we're going to start off, pretend this is already on your reel and everything like that. I'm not going to bring my pole in here to go over it. But to start the knot, you're going to want about... I'd say at least three feet of extra line and you're going to take this treble hook. All the treble hooks that I use, they have little grooves in them and I just try and some of them aren't the same. Some of them have two sides that are welded in and one of them is easier. It's got actual gap, like a gap in there. I just go with the one with the biggest gap. This one, when you have the eye flat like that, you got that channel. So I'm going to go with that one right there. So I'm not, so, cause I want to keep everything in line if possible. So take it like that where you got the eye flat. You're going to run that line through it and just give yourself plenty of, plenty of extra line. You can always cut any extras. So once you got it in there, I'm going to hold that and I'm going to bring it down here. I'm going to wrap it around the shank probably about five or six, five or six times. Bring it down. Um, this one is kind of, it's kind of like a hill to it. So I want to bring it down into that groove. So I'm going to lower it down there and I'm going to wrap it. Kind of work yourself around those points. So it's not all jumbled up. You want it to be a straight line. You want to be flat. Alright, once you got that done and everything's flat, I'm going to adjust this last twist. Okay, so now I'm going to pinch this and remember that groove we were talking about earlier? I'm going to, now I got a little funnel to go through there. I'm going to take this tag end and I'm going to push it through that funnel that I made and it's going to come out the back like that. Pull the rest of it through, making sure that you keep those wraps in place you don't want it to get all twisted up and then you pull that tight afterwards it should look like this nice and neat you don't want any extra stress to be put on it if possible so this is where we're at got our hook on there and the rest that's the easy part so we're just going to take this make a loop with it and then we're going to do one overhand knot. It doesn't need to be too big, but you definitely don't want to make it too small. So this one is probably about a two inch loop. Take that extra weight, just thread it through the eye of that weight, spread the loop, and then send that weight through it. And you got it on there. And that is your consolidated paddlefish rig. Um, it only takes when you do it in real speed, maybe a minute and a half. So when you're out there and it gets snagged on some rocks, if you break your line super quick just to throw a new one on there, when you're finished with it, you want to make sure you have about, I'd say two feet to a foot and a half of extra line between the weight and the hook. That's really going to depend on the time of day you're fishing for them because in the morning when the water's cold they're more likely going to be at the top so you want to have a little bit more distance in between your hook and your weight that way you're hitting that upper channel of the river excuse me and then towards midday the water's going to warm up and then they're going to sink back down into the river channel and then you'll want to shorten that up a little bit just to get the hook lower but if you guys have any questions about anything else just leave a comment and i'll get back to you